What's up? Welcome to Brother Food Review number two. And in today's episode, because the ten of you who enjoyed the last one were so kind enough to give us responses. The one, you. Of, the one of you who liked it, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> today we are... That was me. <laughs> oh, it was you? That was me. Oh, dang it. I thought it was someone else. <laughs> Today we are reviewing Chick Fil Chicken <laughs> Chicken Express, not Chick Fil A. That'll be another episode. We are yes, we are reviewing Chicken Express, and both of us got the same thing. Yep. We got the seven tender meal with side of fries, biscuit, gravy, and a drink of our choice. Now I got the famous Chicken Express sweet, and I recommend you get it. And if you get literally anything else, what are you doing? How is it? Amazing. I want to. I want like my entire fridge stocked up with this sweet tea. So good. Now, obviously, Chicken Express in the title it advertised chicken. However, we'll start with the sides. So, starting off, the fries. We needed a close up of the fries. Yes. Yes, we did. Overall, very nice Christmas to, crispness to it. Relatively soft. They're hot out the oven. I can tell that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. Not every restaurant is very good at that, though. <laughs> Whataburger. Good dog. But overall, very good. I would say. Very, very, very tasty. Not too salty. Not unsalted. That's for sure. And overall, the breading. That they put on the fries, that they uh, the that makes the Christmas the the crispus crispness <laughs> <laughs> taste almost like chicken. It's kind of weird to explain, but it does. Now, very good review, Robert. I guess. Hey, hey, hey! That'll get me demonetized. <laughs> Now, I'm going to be reviewing the biscuits that they come with. Now, I see on the top there is butter on it, and I do like that. I do like my biscuits not to be dry. I think they want a close-up. There you go. There's the biscuit. Now, for you fans out there, loyal fans of the subscriber base that I have, all 20 of you, um, here's a little tip. Whenever I get biscuits and either like some chicken of some sort i like to split split a piece if it's too big slap that baby inside the biscuit and then dunk the whole thing in gravy make you weird as hell or you maybe just pour the gravy onto the chicken and then slap slap the top biscuit on it that's what i usually do but because i'm not reviewing combinations of food and reviewing the original food we're gonna just try it. We're just gonna try one at a time for me. Mm. Buttery. Extremely buttery. It doesn't get caught up in your mouth, like like when it's dry and it's just nasty, you know? Mm -hmm. Very nice consistency. Mm -hmm. Very soft, not hard. Oh, love it. No. What I like to do, personally, with my biscuits, is I like to just dunk them in the gravy. Personally, this is really nice. Mm. Where's that swirl again? <laughs> now it's time for the main course. Mm. The thing you all clicked on this video for. Oh, that's a bad piece of the tenders. They want a close up. Chicken Express, delicious. Okay, that's enough. Delicious tenders. Original, not spicy. All right, are you ready? Yep. All right. Cheers. Cheers. You all heard that crunch, right? I'm just saying. Mm hmm. Tell me your thoughts first. 
personally the crunch is really nice it's not overwhelming it's not like you have to like bite extremely hard just to get to the meat itself mm -hmm. you don't have to you can just like literally just bite very lightly you don't have to chew very hard the taste of the breading isn't bad I it feel could, like it could definitely improve though. it could use like a little flavor maybe mm -hmm. a little salt even I agree now what I like to do with the chicken is just dunk it in the gravy and then eat it. Can't knock it until you try it, right? That's right. Now, I've never tried this, but what if you try dunking the fries in the gravy? Don't knock it until you try it. Going in. Personally, Eight out of ten. Oh, really? Is that good? That's okay. All right. Now we they, they threw ketchup in the box, but I don't feel like it would be. Mm -mm. Uh, that, that wouldn't be good for the truth of what we're eating. So we're just gonna leave that out. Because everybody knows what ketchup tastes like. It's mm. all the same thing anyway. No matter what restaurant you go to, ketchup always tastes the same. Because yeah, everyone uses Heinz. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your day. How'd that go? Hmm? Tell me about your day. Shit. Well, shit. Okay. <laughs> Making me think. You're going to keep cursing in my videos? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm going to get you demonetized. Better not. It was okay. It was a little slow at first. I took a math learning check. That shit was easy. Absolutely. Especially for pre-calculus, which you're in somehow. Well, that's because my mom, just like my brother when he was a senior, she wanted to put me into college-level algebra because pre-cal by itself is hard. And mm -hmm. she, she knew that. But because we were too late to put me in that class, it got filled up. Oh, really? Like, all the classes Wait, got did you want to do that last year? Mm hmm When did you want to do that? This year. Oh, really? Mm hmm But unfortunately, like, every single one of those classes got filled up. So I had to take pre cal mm hmm And I'm, I'm not happy about it because now we're learning trigonometry. Are you just getting into trig? Yeah. Like, we just started the last class. And like, was... circles? Mm -hmm. Or... Right triangles. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. See, I'm we're in two different classes. He's on level, I'm in pre-AP. And we did that last semester. Actually? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we finished it last semester. Oh, bro. I'm so bad at math, and trigonometry doesn't mm -hmm. help. It's like, it's like kicking a dead horse. Yeah, in fact, my dad... Uh, made me he signed me up for uh, math tutoring I didn't really want to do it because I mean I couldn't easily figure it out on myself by mm -hmm. myself but not going to lie the math tutoring did help in fact well, don't you have a friend that helps you out well that's good yeah I do my friend is in uh, he goes to Westlake uh, I, don't, I forgot what it was called but it was like a high level calculus yeah, like calculus BC <clears throat> something like that yeah and I'm just I'm so amazed that he can just know that I feel like if I looked at one problem, done. <coughs> done. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. You didn't tell me about your day. Go ahead. Anyway, math learning check, easy. I don't get the shit that we learn in math. It's so fucking useless, to be quite honest Can with you. Can you stop cursing? Okay, it's so freaking useless. Thank you. There we go. Okay. But, like, we're learning about, like, angular velocity of, like, mm -hmm. a pedal on a chain or whatever the hell, heck it's called. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're going to know that when you make the wheel. But we've already made the wheel. But, like, the point is, when are we going to use that in life? We're not. That's the exactly. Thing. Even this, Even though this is a core subject. Mm-hmm. Why, why don't we actually do something useful like add and subtract money or finance or deductions yeah finance I, I personally think finance should be a core class mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna tell you the only thing that I've learned from my four years in high school, and that was this year in economics, like last six weeks we had we were doing this finance stuff, mm -hmm. like writing checks. That was a part of it. Debit and credit. I got more knowledge on that than anything I've learned in high school that I need to care about in the real world. And it just goes to show you that stuff's useless. Mm -hmm. The only time I learned something useful in life was, well, I learned some useful things in macroeconomics. Not really a lot, but there was this one time in seventh grade where they were teaching us about uh, how to finance our money with the banks. Mm -hmm. So like if we should do like you take out take out loans, uh, get a debit card uh, compared to getting a credit card, that kind of stuff. That was really useful. They should teach that more, but they didn't. That was one time in seventh grade mm -hmm. that I still remember. No. Why? No, we have to learn how to find the angular velocity of the chain on a wheel or not a pedal. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> Let's be honest. School. Do you even remember what you learned last semester? I don't even know what I. I don't even remember what I learned last class. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, song recommendation: "Sky" by Playboy Cardi. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking, but isn't that song in the album Whole Lot of Red? Yes. <laughs> and it wasn't a whole lot of red trash? Kind of. <laughs> but that song is good. <laughs> you, you give that a try. Oh my god. Nick, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving my 10 viewers, you know. I think we're the 10 viewers. <laughs> like, because we just watch this over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One day. One day we'll have 11 views. <laughs> nah, for real though. One day we'll be big. One day. Hopefully. That's why I want to post. Okay, so. My channel is not just going to be food reviews. No. We're actually thinking of like short films, like little skits, stuff like that to post on my channel because like that's something I really like. Uh, I don't know about you, Robert. But no, that's that's something I want to do. Mm -hmm. The only problem for me is that it's just a lot of life shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, just stuff gets in the way, and it's kind of hard because we're on a time crunch of what we can and cannot produce, mm -hmm. and it sucks. And there's only so much we can do because, let's be honest, we're in high school. It's we're high in, school. We're in high school. I don't have a job. You have a job. I do. But we're not going to spend thousand dollars on a yeah, little production. Yeah, my, my target job isn't going to pay for a lot. <laughs> Facts. I feel like if we get three jobs, we could pull off something, but mm. that's three jobs for a high schooler. Damn near impossible. Mm. Shit busted. <laughs> 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 how good chicken mm. was. Forgot about my Coke. Or cola. Uh, good save. Good save. Sorry, my thing is coming away. Yeah, just slightly. Jesus. There we go. Sorry. I gotta know who you actually is. Anyway. Short film ideas. We've had a few ideas. Nick was, uh, he was driving to Chicken Express and he was just listing out ideas. From what I've gathered, gathered you're more of a, a horror film, right? Mm-hmm. Top guy. Now, uh, I like horror because of how much creative 
creative miss you can do behind it. And I don't know, like with any other genre of film, you can do obviously creative, but I don't know, there's just something interesting about horror mm -hmm. because I watch these movies and it's like, oh, I predicted this, predicted that. Mm. And obviously that's fine, but like, I don't know, it, it just seems all cliche in, in the end. I was about like, to say oh, the same thing. It's like, oh, they get away from it. Oh, no, the monster. Okay, what are we going to do now? Like, I feel like... There's for, not a lot of... There's not enough unknowns in mm -hmm. the horror genre. It's always solved. And I feel like... Because I want to be a director... Mm -hmm. When I'm of the age to not be in high school anymore, obviously. I feel like... Um, Which is actually soon. Holy shit. I know, that's scary to think about. <laughs> Bro, I, I graduate in four months. That's... Mm -hmm. Damn. That's scary. Holy shit. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, for me, I have another year. Well, you have another year of bad. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to do that shit. Mine ended last year. Or 2020, yeah? Let's go. Go, baby. Fuck you. Go. I have to go through another year dealing with the band directors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to be in more shit. <laughs> <laughs> they were yelling at me today. Uh-oh. They were yelling at you? Why? Yeah. <laughs> because I don't have it. Because I picked the solo. Because we're required to play solos. And... And she said it was too easy. Yeah. And Van Dorn was a... What? Yep. Yeah. But it's your solo. You can do whatever. I know, but apparently I, I can't if, because I'm in symphonic. For you, those of you don't know, it's a second band out of four bands. The first one is the top band, fourth band is the lowest band. It used to be the lowest band. For three years, yeah. <laughs> That's because I was not good at my <laughs> instrument, but I can assure you this year I, st <laughs> I stepped up to the plate a little more. <laughs> and you made third band. <laughs> the best band, by the way. It is no cap. Because Symphonic Band and the top band, Win Ensemble, they have so much responsibility, it just literally takes up half your life. It's kind of a lot of work and to keep up with. Mm -hmm. I'm Four, trying to get moved down. Fourth band, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, it just it just feels like the freshman class of your band. It, you know what I mean? Because like obviously you go from eighth grade to like maybe being in honor band or symphonic band, mm -hmm. and you and you think you're a big dog, but then you get into high school and then you get put in the last band, and it's like, okay, I guess this is this is where I start off. Mm -hmm. Or or maybe you're just a godlike figure and you get moved up to first band from eighth grade to then a freshman and then now you're in the top band which i mean good for it you. gets to a lot of people's heads though because they think they're so hot well, i mean good for you but it's like like we don't really care uh, us in particular we don't care you might care and others might care but we don't because let's be honest the majority of high school does not care about band whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They do not care that we won or that we win competitions. They do mm -hmm. not care if we lose competitions. Let's be honest, they don't they don't care. No one really cares. Yeah. And honestly And I hate how people like act like it too. Like act like everybody cares about band, no one really does. Well and I mean uh, the parents do. The and parents like, really and, do. And the teachers do, which is good because mm -hmm. <laughs> Giving some support, so it's mm -hmm. nice. But honestly, but I mean, the the typical high schooler, like who's not in band, is not going to really care about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> much of like, well, much of like with any person, like I don't care about some stuff, but I do care about some things that others don't care about. It, it's like that. You have to look at that from someone someone else's perspective. At least here, because we have a very strong a football culture. Oh yeah, football's mm -hmm. really strong here. Top six A school? Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. I almost played football. You don't need to have anything else, but if you have football, mm. football's tough. Played it for eight years. I I really wish I played football. 
Because, like, um, going to my brother's game and, like, looking back at, like, their junior peewee stuff mm -hmm. and then in the middle school stuff, it, that, that just looks fun. Like, uh, high school, obviously, is where, where it gets more serious. Oh, yeah. But, like, middle school, junior peewee, you're just having fun. You're just being kids, trying new things. And, like, that, I should have done that. <laughs> Except the coaches take it too seriously. Well, this is... You're not going to treat it like it's soccer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All the soccer boys, they're weird. Right, we, can't, we can't really fan anything because we're in band. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how's the tier list go? I'm thinking... Hmm. From what? Best? I'm thinking... From worst at the bottom of the tier, tier list, band, then soccer, lacrosse. No, I'd say soccer and then band. Depends well, well, who you ask. Actually, actually, actually. Well, well, let's split band into two parts: marching band and concert band. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'd say soccer, concert band, <laughs> tennis, marching band, lacrosse. Oh yeah. Uh, what other sports are there? Swimming. Um, volleyball, basketball. Oh, you forgot about golf. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have golf. Um, because some of the people on golf on the golf team take it really seriously. Like, they want to be in the PGA. That's how serious they are. Well, I'm, I'm sure that's what also people do, like, in swimming and fo I, even yeah, football. Yeah, but it's a lot more serious in, uh, in golf because a lot more people... Well, our golf team is relatively oh, and, small. And baseball. I forgot about that. Oh, same thing with baseball. Damn, we have a lot of sports, actually. Mm -hmm. Thinking about it. Isn't there a rugby team? Or okay. there used to be. Is there not anymore? I don't know. Hmm. No, I don't know. Oh, you know what I think of... Could have been, I think it was a club, actually. Mm. I don't think it was an actual sport. No, it was a club because there's no coach for it. Gosh, what the hell is rugby? <laughs> Some English sport. Le leave in the comments below what, what is rugby. It's basically like football and soccer. Like combined. It's weird. That's what I thought it was. Now, I don't know about you guys. But I love ice. And I will literally eat ice out of my cup until there's none left. Mm. And Chicken Express ice, because it's the little pebble ice, that, that's the, the god, best ice. That's the, the god best tier ice, ice by far. Just the texture of this ice is just so nice. Uh, and I know chewing ice is bad for your teeth. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do? There's so much shrimp in this barrel. Like seven is actually a lot. I know. I feel like they put more than seven. <laughs> I do too. It might just be the breading. True. Well, I'm not so sure if I can even finish this. They uh, put a lot in here. I, I might go uh, like gluten. What? I might I might be gluten free. Like. Uh, oh, when you work out and stuff. Mm -mm. Like starting soon because. I might have the same thing as my dad, where, like, when I eat bread and, like, wheat and stuff, I just feel so fat, and just, like, I have a big belly. It's, it's just not a good feeling. Oh, you feel bloated? Yeah. Very bloated. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, we're going to be working out, too. Soon. Together. Mm-hmm. Because... Now, my, my idea of of looking good is well okay let me rephrase this my idea of like working out and becoming the body type that i want to be it's not it's not jack like i'm arnold schwarzenegger mm -hmm. like no personally i think that's too much mm -hmm. that, that's just too much and that's just that's also a ton of weight <laughs> I mean, bodybuilders can do their things, but that's not me. No, like, no. I want to look shredded. 
like everybody wants to look shredded let's not let's not kid ourselves but mm -hmm. for me i would like to look shredded but not look like not like huge yeah like i i would like i would like there to be defined muscle on me mm -hmm. like you can obviously tell i work out you can ob obviously tell that I take care of myself, like you can prominent jawline, abs, biceps, triceps, shoulders even, legs, like I'm gonna look like that, but not huge. Mm -hmm. And we're not gonna get that way eating chicken express. <laughs> mm -mm. No. That's starting next week too, so. I'm gonna eat like all the unhealthy food this week so I can prepare for next week. You know what I wish? I wish I had a good metabolism. I'm sure everyone does, but like I get so jealous of when people just eat nasty stuff, like junk food, and they just don't worry they just don't need to worry about it. Because it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, I can't finish this. I'm saving this. You finish it? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, it, was, it was a lot, but... I'm going to say, man, I cannot finish this. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining joining us on Chicken Part Express two. Food Review, the second installment of the Food Review Saga. Part three coming soon. Guess which restaurant it is down in the comments below. Or leave us some suggestions of places to go to review in the comments down below. Also, make sure to like and share. Doesn't always have to be chicken places. Exactly.